from the cradle till the grave. The life of hopefully each and every one of us. And in this poem, looking at the life of a servant of Allah from this perspective, I say every moment for your servant is like a dream. Every moment for your servant is like a dream. It's an honor that for you, Master, our tears stream. From the cradle by my mother, your love I was given and taught. She fed me the milk of your name, and you became my every thought. And in my cradle, I would cry by your tragedy, left distraught when I was young. Like this, I'd mourn until my hands to hit I taught. And so I grew in loving you and knowing you. My years would pass knowing Abbas and knowing you. At a young age, I saw a dream where men would read on your pulpit. At a young age, I saw a dream where men would read on your pulpit. I stood in awe as they would draw your day with words of a poet. They drew your thirst and your heartache. They drew your thirst and your heartache. When tents would burn, your daughters hit. I saw this day as clear as day. I saw this day as clear as day. Every year, this day I'd visit. And when I woke from this dream, I spoke and cried your name. I would lament <coughs> as your servant and cried your name. As I grew up, your love it grew. We were like one, a soul and heart. As I grew up, your love it grew. We were like one, a soul and heart. And I served you. I served you because I knew I'd see you when from life I'd part. And yearly, yearly when for you I'd mourn my soul, it would be torn apart. I gave my youth my days to you from my heart you'd never depart every trial was all while you were watching if i'd smile if i'd wail you were watching when i had children i'd recall my mother and how she raised me when i had children i'd recall my mother and how she raised me i told my sons when they were born i gift you to his tragedy, I told my sons when they were born, I gift you to his tragedy and to my daughters, I tell them of Zainab, daughter of Ali, my whole household to you I sold, so they'd serve you long after me when I married, when I married, for you I grieved, we were for you my wife I taught, her saying she sought we were for you. When I died and I was buried, I cried your name and wanted your sight. When I died and I was buried, I cried your name, I wanted your sight. If I served you for all my years, I thought you'd save me with my plight. And in my grave, I was questioned. In my grave, I was questioned. I saw coming to me, a light, I saw Hussein, I saw Hussein, I cried his name on heaven's door, my name he'd write, my friends mourned me with my family and I smiled, they were in pain, I saw Hussein and I smiled every moment, for your servant is like a dream. Salli ala Muhammad. Allah is a poem that I wrote, I started writing in Karbala on a, upon a rooftop looking at the dome of Rasulullah and I finished writing it sitting in the courtyard of Ali ibn Abi Talib looking at the grave of Ali <laughs> It was a poem that my entire trip 
during the 10 days of Muharram in Karbala, I had had in my mind and it manifested itself to what it is now. And it is a poem where I wanted to tell Hussein that he is not alone. That moment that he stood alone calling for help didn't mean he was alone because we have thousands and millions and millions and billions of lovers who mourn him today. And in this poem I tell him, it was not just a day witnessed by your eyes, by your eyes. Hussein, it was not just a day witnessed by your eyes, by your eyes. Millions witness your day, so hear their cries, hear their cries. Hussein, you are not alone. Hussein, you are not alone. Your pain to millions is shown. Millions witness your day, so hear their cries, hear their cries. Between your eyelids and I, drawn in every tear, you'd cry. You'd stand alone, asking for help. You'd stand alone, asking for help. And did you ever ask why? Calamities you witnessed left our own eyes so distressed that we'd cry as if horses' hooves were on our own father's breast. You stood alone on that day. You stood alone on that day. Every love taken away when alone you spoke to your Lord. Behind you we'd come and pray. Yes, a thousand years have passed. Yes, a thousand years have passed. Ten thousand years, it's a last. For it lives in our memory as if of yesterday's past. They spoke of you as if you died and your plight and your plight. Instead, you brought our souls to life with your light, with your light. Your pain is not yours to own. Your pain to millions is shown. Millions witness your day, so hear their cries, hear their cries. Alone, alone. When for help you called your loneliness, we recalled, yet your voice, it transcended time, and by it we were enthralled. A broken heart, none could mend. A broken heart, none could mend. To wind your hand you'd extend, expecting someone to help you, brings you a silence, this wind. We watched you stand there alone. We watched you stand there alone, and we cried out, to you will come. We cried out, to you will come. Yet you turned away in sadness, hearing no voice and no one. It gave us such a heartache. It gave us such a heartache that when we mourn, the worlds shake. And whilst you sleep in your sadness, our grief still keeps us awake. We came running. When we heard help you needed, you needed, we begged our Lord to reach your side and pleaded and pleaded for our lateness we'd atone. Your pain to millions was shown. Millions witnessed your day, so hear their cries, hear their cries. With the rise of your day's dawn, pictures on your eye were drawn. And when we asked for but a glimpse, uncontrollably we'd mourn, we saw a young, orphaned prince. We saw a young orphaned prince asking your permission since you were the one father he had and his death challenged your patience. In your arms you held your son. In your arms you held your son and you complained to the son, can I not bring Ali water? Not a drop rests on his tongue. We saw later in your arms. We saw later in your arms, fingers clenched by tiny palms, the infant's neck that you once kissed, a three-headed arrow arms. What we once saw, what we saw, when we saw what your eyes saw, we wouldn't sleep, wouldn't sleep. When we would gaze at our children, we would weep, we would weep. His blood to the sky you throw, your pain to millions is shown. Millions witness your day, so hear their cries, hear their cries. Asking to feel what you felt by your remains, we all knelt, soothing your wounds with our own hands. Our tears, the sun's heat would melt. We felt on your back a weight, prayed on your innocence, hate, not 
what you are, for who you are, not what you are, for who you are. You embrace the headless fate from your eyes, waterless tears. Every time reaches your ears the cries of those sunless mothers. You'd cry out, take me your spears. Every loved one was taken. Every loved one was taken. You'd cry, he'd not awaken. You'd cry, he'd not awaken. With your death, oh my flag bearer, now my back has been broken. With remnants of your ink, sorrow we would draw, we would draw. We'd follow its trail. Your pain we all saw, we all saw. You stood ageless as we'd grown. Your pain to millions is shown. Millions witnessed your day, so hear their cries, hear their cries. On that day, on that day, alone you stood, the trial that you withstood, carved lessons into history that we read and understood. On that day, alone you stood, the trials that you withstood, carved lessons into history that we read and we understood. You stood up to a tyrant, you stood up to a tyrant and withstood every moment of your torture, of your slaughter, and we saw your achievement. You rose up and so we rose. You rose up and so we rose. Oppression we would oppose and before humiliation, death we demanded and chose. We told all that death had lied. We told all that death had lied because Hussein never died. Because Hussein never died. He lives on. He is immortal for our tears his death defied. Our tears his death defied on your day. Millions of eyes on you gaze, on you gaze. They cry hearing of your tale and your ways and your ways. I wonder if, I wonder if then you'd known your pain to millions is shown. Millions witnessed your day, so hear their cry. I shall be speaking about the strangeness of Sayyidah Zainab. Absolutely. Because it's, it's funny because she stood in a place that no human being has stood in before. What was that place? She stood in a place where there was no sun and there was no moon. There was no Hussein, there was no Abbas. So she stood in a place, a paradox, where it, 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 it is impossible to be. And this, in this poem, she speaks to her brother, she says, I'm in this place, there is no sun, there is no moon, there is no day, there is no night, there is no Hussein and no Abbas, so where do I stand? Isn't it impossible to stand in this place? She says, I see the sun setting in front of me. I see the moon setting in front of me. I see not day or night, but your bodies I see. I was left alone and I saw the sun setting. I was left alone and I saw the sun setting. How upsetting I see this sight. And all I've known is when it sets, I'm left greeting. The moon sighting, I see this sight. Yet today's sunset with the moon is not meeting. Yet today's sunset with the moon is not meeting. What a painting, I see this sight. Tell me, tell me, does the sun set and never rise? Tell me, does the moon abandon the skies? Tell me, for both my brothers, my heart cries, I see. In the absence of life, I stood in darkness. In the absence of life, I stood in darkness. And so restless, I'd cry their names. Wherever hurt or danger, my eyes would witness. Or in sadness, I'd cry their names. In the absence of light, I stood in a darkness. And so restless, I cried their names. Whenever hurt or danger, my eyes would witness. Or in sadness, I'd cry their names. And I could not search for, I could not search for, without the sun's brightness, the moon's braveness, I'd cry their names. I seek, I cry rivers for my brothers. I seek the sun to dry out these rivers. I seek the moon on his helmet's feathers. I seek 
I looked everywhere for the moon, even the night. I looked everywhere for the moon, even the night was without light, without the moon. Me and the skies would feel safe, but with his plight, we live in fright without the moon. I'd recall him upon his horse. I'd recall him upon his horse, beaming moonlight. Oh, what a sight without the moon. I wept. I wept hoping that he'd come when he hears. I wept hoping that he would wipe my tears. I wept. I waited decades and years, I see. I asked to see the sun and I saw it laying. I asked to see the sun and I saw it laying and I'm praying, oh what a sight, alone, alone and for my brother's warmth I was craving, how amazing, oh what a sight, and yet <clears throat> hanging from a horse I saw him swaying, and yet Hanging from a horse, I saw him swaying and not moving. Oh, what a sight. I screamed, I screamed, I screamed, seeing the sun on the earth fallen. I screamed as witnessed by all his orphans. I screamed, knowing that he won't awaken, I see. When taken captive, when taken captive for the sun and the moon, I plead that my road leads to see their light. I yearn to by those who destroyed them out of greed to be let go, freed to see their light. I return to hear the sun and moon were carried to be buried. I return to hear the sun and the moon were carried to be buried to see their light. I stood, I stood in neither the day or the night. I stood in neither the day or the night. I stood in grief's darkness without their light. I stood, I witnessed the sun and the moon's plight. I witnessed the sun and the moon's plight. I see Salli ala I know that of course I'm almost finished my time. There's one more poem that I have to read. Um, if you recall, those of you who are here, the first time I came to this, uh, great measures, this great initiative that has been taking place every year, I was on my way to Karbala to visit Imam Hussain on his 40th, on his Abba'in. And similarly, inshallah, with your du'as and inshallah, with your permission, I shall be going to Imam Hussain again this 40th. And just like then, I want to read a poem that will hopefully, for those of you who haven't booked, for those of you who haven't booked to your tickets to go and see the Imam, I'm going to read you a poem that will hopefully give you that extra push to go and visit the Imam. Because Arba'een, Muharram is a time when everyone comes together and you know, mourns Imam Hussain, but Arba'een is a time when you drop whatever you have, wallah, whatever you have, you take it, you drop it, and you go straight to Imam Hussain. Because he deserves it, and he deserves more. I told you a poem about how we speak to Hussein. Now I'm going to speak, give you a poem about how Hussein speaks to those who visit him. Whenever he sees someone coming to him, he tells them, if you visit, I welcome you and shall visit each one of you. If you visit, I welcome you and shall visit each one of you. I will welcome those who visit. I will welcome to you. I'll come when you're buried. To you I'll come if you visit. I was raised in a house of giving and service. I was raised in a house of giving and service. My visitors should feel at home. I know this. I smile when I see my grave receives a kiss. I smile when I see my grave receives a kiss and I'll make sure that when he leaves Hussein he'll miss. If visited, it's my duty. I've awaited those who know me. They've come and gone and I serve them. They've come and gone. To you I'll come when you're buried. To you I'll come if you visit. If a stranger comes to me, know I befriend him. If an orphan comes to me, know I father him. If a stranger comes to me, no, I befriend him. If an orphan comes to me, no, I father him. When someone comes to mourn me, I sing him 
A hymn, I brighten the hopes of he whose future seems dim. I'm a beacon for the restless. For me they yearn their lives. I bless the old and young. I assist them, the old and young. To you I'll come when you're buried. To you I'll come if you visit. When you visit me, your life to me you've given. I care not for your sins, for they are forgiven. I care not for your sins, for they are forgiven. You've risked death because you saw my shrine as heaven. I adore you all who by my love are driven. I adore you all who by my love are driven. If you love me, if you love me, and me you adore, understand me, I love you more. Just as you've done, I'll give you all. Just as you've done, to you I'll come when you're buried. To you I'll come if you visit. Come and visit me if this world has made you weak. Come and visit me if this world has made you weak. Come and visit me if your desires you seek. I know what's in your heart. I know what's in your heart. But I want to hear you speak when you request from me. Let tears flow down your cheek. Why? I want to see you in despair. I want to see you in despair. So you love me when I answer. What's on your tongue, I shall grant you. What's on your tongue, to you I'll come. When you're buried, to you I'll come. If you visit. If you tire of me, if you tire of me, then visit my brother. If you tire of me, then visit my brother. He jumps up. When he hears coming is Hussein's lover, I promise all your requests he'll look after. I promise all your requests he shall look after. Visit him once for me, it'd be an honor. Abbas and I, servants truly, will bid goodbye and the safe journey. Don't be long with your return, don't be long. To you I'll come when you're buried, to you I'll come if you visit. As you request from me, I have but one request. As you request from me, I have but one request, and I always remind every visitor and guest, if you want to visit me, remember this first. If you want to visit me, remember this first. I came to quench your thirst when I was killed in thirst. I came to quench your thirst when I was killed in thirst. And remember, when you come here in Karbala, I was killed here. If you are one, that remembers if you are one, to you I'll come when you're buried, to you I'll come if you visit, if you visit. Assalamu alaikum. Jimmy.